lidt der. Fedt. Det er mega fedt. Og her er den unge mand, der samlede os op i Lovstavnen. What was your name again? I actually forgot. Other than Kiwi guy. Kiwi guy. Ah, Henry. Henry. <laughs> You're an American now. Lean into that rifle though. You're leaning away from it. That's it. Did I hit it? Where do you think that no. Don't know. Get ricocheted off the top of our lock. Was that too high? Yeah. Just over it. <laughs> Put it about two inches under the can. Dog, hey, come fuck the dog. The tree. <laughs> Bed dot should line up straight across. Could I use a cap, uh, Linda? Cap because I can't see <laughs> see the can because of the sun. Yeah. Don't miss. Pressure's on. <laughs> Pull the hammer back and it's ready to shoot. Pull the trigger until you're at aim at the target. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> okay, now I want to... Well, the, right. the can went flying, so... Guys, did something. So how do I do this? You just pull the back... The... Is the safety off? Well, I just have to see how to aim. It's a peep. I can't see anything. Yeah, okay. yeah. Can you see that rock on the ground just ahead of you there? Yeah. Just yeah. shoot that rock. Look, 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 check, look. Oh, wait. I couldn't, where did I put safety off? Oh, it's, it's, it's off. It is Trig off. Trigger's heavy though. Trigger's always heavy on those things. Oh, okay. Yeah. High. High? Yeah. High. High. Where are you shooting? You're not shooting. Oh, not at the rock apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the rock's about there somewhere. You see that little lump? Wait a minute. You see that little... Again? So shooting that dark spot that's on just up in the yeah. brown yard. I don't know what happened. Now it's
So Steph, what are we doing right now? Okay, we're walking one or two hours uphill to our new campsite, and it's about one and a half kilometers. No, uh, one point two miles. One point two miles. Yeah. Or more if we can. Yeah. Um, uphill all the way, and we walked what like, fifty meters. Yeah, and we're pretty heavy we're already. already. <laughs> It's so hard. Yeah. Well, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So walk. <laughs> Uphill. Two hours. You ready, Maso? Got it. I lift it on the log. What do you do with this? Why? Oh, it's just to throw the sound, it's, so it's not just coming. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, when you watch a bull, mostly, they mostly throw their head up, you watch them, you go. Oh. Like that, yeah. I don't know why I do it, but... That works. Feel good factor. <laughs> you don't get <laughs> Hi, my name is Marcel. I'm a <laughs> professional hunter. <laughs> and I have a really like. famous huntress mm. next to me. Mm. <laughs> and I fart a lot. Yeah, I fart I'm a recording, lot. by the way. My stomach, <laughs> my stomach's crook, so I'm just guessing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> a solid night's sleep. Uh, time we Now. Alright. Okay, we're just coming from base camp. That's it. About 11,500 feet, and um, we're going to climb over about 12,500 and go down the other side, hunt through a couple of basins, and basically going to be dropping right back to about 8,000 feet a river and train tracks out of here over four or five days. See if we can find Stephanie and Elk. Yep. I haven't seen any yet, so yep. here's hoping. It's gonna be a good time. Remember what story? Remember that story Marcel told about tying the other hunter's shoe? <laughs> this generally ge generates a massive tip. <laughs> Do you double loop them like that? Yeah. And they still come undone. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we've been walking. Yeah. 600 meters or something, yeah. or yeah. maybe more. Yeah, I think it's more at this point. We're going up that. Yeah, we had a bull. We had a bull in camp hill. last night, like fucking. Not totally the to top, but almost. And then down on the other side. So, right in between those yeah. two peaks. Yeah. We're heading there, and then over the other side. 
What was it? Is that? Huh? Was it 1,200? 12,500 feet? Yeah. I actually feel okay uh, now after that drink we had. Yeah. I don't feel, but I can feel my stomach. Yeah. I think we're gonna feel our bodies tomorrow though. Yeah. And, uh, but I can't feel the air. No. But, uh, uh, remember okay. the first two days? Yeah. That was oh, crazy. It, when you just <laughs> took something up. Oh. Yeah. You just took something from the ground and went up. It was just like. <laughs> yeah. But I'm kind of used to it now already. That's cool. That's getting better. It's I, getting better, yeah. Yeah. It's still hard. Just need something for yeah. mending our bodies so they're ready yeah. <laughs> for the next step. The weird thing is that you're not hungry, you, you just don't want to eat anything. Yeah. But you need to eat something, but it's a struggle to eat. Yeah. And you don't really want to eat. Oh. But then you wake up um, every night. You do that as well, right? Yeah, wake, wake up, up hungry. And you're just so hungry. Can't eat uh, dinner, but wake up hungry. <sighs> Breakfast either. We can't oh, we just have to force it down. Yeah. Eating is a chore. Yeah. What was that muscle? Sorry? What was that with the oxygen? Oh, you're getting about 25% less oxygen right now than you would at sea level. Yeah, I'm just going to blame that for my heavy breathing <laughs> and not my not being in shape. It is actually a large part of it because what we're doing is not really that hard. No. It's really not. But oh. it does get a bit harder. But you'll walk out of here super fit. If I'm not, ha if I don't have six packs when we leave here, I'm gonna blame you. I want your money back. <laughs> <laughs>是的, bull by the tree closest to us?
Um, it's <laughs> No, not really. We're going hunting. Finding a new camp spot. Yeah. Uh, how far away is the new camp spot? Ooh, it's about a, uh, where we're going today is about a mile and a half max, but it's, we're going to lose about uh, two and a half, three thousand feet to elevation. And hopefully, kill an elk down there, because we know there's a big bull there. We've seen him. And heard him heard yesterday. Him last night. Yeah. And, yeah. That's about it. So you guys are going to be able to breathe a little better for a start. Well, I am for sure. Michael. There's going to be some water, probably more handy. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe something like right. a grouse to shoot. down through a valley we've seen a lot of elk and a couple of big bulls over the course of a couple of days we're going to fall about uh, 4,500 feet and uh, it's pretty steep and gnarly going to go down to a river and I was just telling Stephanie that the place we're heading for has a name that means the waiting place before you go to hell so she's excited about that <laughs> we all are see on her face. <laughs> yeah. we're excited Steph yeah yeah, I am. <laughs> just, just film up there. We were end up there two days ago, and that was where we saw the goat. That's where we saw a large mountain goat. We have some photos to prove it too. That was so cool, but we did not put our stick up, which we were supposed to. We had yeah. a stick with us. It was called MMS, but um, we forgot about it because we saw some elks. Yeah, well, Marcel has another job during yeah, the week then. So, yeah. so if somebody gets up there and the stick is not there, then we know Marcel didn't do his job. Yeah. So blame Marcel. You're talking. Okay, so today about lunchtime we left Mikhail behind, much to his uh, excitement. His, yeah, excitement <laughs> due to being in beer country. <laughs> but um, we we basically hunted after some bulls we've been had our eye on and been talking to over the last two or three days. Long story short, uh. We ended up really high around a face here, about a mile, almost a mile and a half away. Um, probably about 400 metres elevation above where we are now. And then got onto, and that just turned to custard due to the wind. Then got onto another bull, which was below us, and we ended up about 800 metres elevation lower than we are now. Yeah, but on that high mountain there, we came. They came in at 50 metres or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We and got. The wind kept on yeah. going like this. Yeah, we got close, but the wind in these canyons is the killer every time, basically. You have to get lucky. Um, yeah. So then we got way down low, almost to the river, actually. Um, that was hard. And I had to take Stephanie's arrows off her because I thought she was going to stab me. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't do anymore. No, so, done. dragged her back up the hill. So, at um, this point, were you planning on going home at this point, or were you still hunting? Uh, we were just coming back here. Yeah. Coming back to camp. And we got within about 0.3 of a mile of camp. 
and it sounds close but it's not really because it's down down low and then we spotted some cows coming out just opposite <coughs> camp here in an open face and Stephanie was smiling once again <laughs> so we basically ripped across there um, managed to get to 30 meters fairly quickly up a steep little face and it's kind of open with a few small pines in it and the wind was yeah the wind really was also bad really bad but I don't know how they didn't smell us um, yeah got to 30 meters and took a rather precarious shot with me holding Stephanie up yeah so that she could like take standing shot. like this was that because of the angle or the angle yeah and then yeah. I said to myself just hold my back and I'll shoot yeah, it was an angle and quite a shitty position where she had to shoot over some stuff and kind of stand half high on a rock and it was just, it was, it was sort of shot. now or never, but... And I couldn't draw my bow. Yeah, there was that too. I was so tired. I was like, oh, but I got it. Yeah, so pretty much broadside shot at 30 meters and we think it's, we think it's a liver shot. There's plenty of good blood on the arrow. Um... And basically, we've just put her to bed and walked away. And we're going to go and look in the morning. And yeah, but we we saw her. Oh yeah. We shot her, and I thought I thought it was a bad shot. You said no, you did hit her. Yeah. And I was like, I, I just couldn't. That angle there just felt mm. so so bad. And then we went over to um, to look at the spot where I shot her, and we looked, and then we saw them there again, right? Yeah, just 20 yards away. She was standing. And her calf was still with her. She's got a yearling calf. And um, she and was a bit wobbly. Her. Got drawn up on her, but they kind of went together and there was no real shot and then they went out of sight. But we, about five minutes later, we stood there for a bit and about five minutes later we thought we heard her fall over. Big crash. And then some other elk ran away. Yeah, and the funny thing is, when we looked at the two cows, I was just standing like this, and suddenly I heard something that smashed up against my bow and it was my... Um, yeah, it was, it was the, the arrow, arrow with the blood all over it. <laughs> so it was Fell a little down strange. The tree. Wow. And there was a lot of blood on it. Mm. it. Smelled a little bit. Yeah. And we only had the light. It was going dark and we only had the light from a cell phone. I'd left my backpack back on the hill with headlamps and things in it. So we ended up backing out. She's bedded. You saw her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the morning. So tomorrow we go down there. We go down there. We go down there fully armed and hopefully, or hopefully not, there's a bear there. So hopefully the bear doesn't find her because Stephanie would like the skin at least. Bears don't look after skins very well. Yeah. yeah. So we're hoping our bear turns up tonight. Mm. So I'm not going to sleep where we were. Yeah, it's probably going to sleep this night, but <coughs> we've got hot chocolate, so that's all that matters. <laughs>
found her. There it is. Yep. So, what's going through your head right now? Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Really happy. And she's here. Man. Um, you also put in the work for it. Yeah. yeah. Really so, did. Was it seven, seven hours hunt yeah. or something? <clears throat> then we, we gave up and went home. And then she was there. Yeah. So it's perfect. I'm so happy that we found her. <sighs> she's really huge. Yeah. The big stuff is there. This is the right. right? Yeah, that's the exit. Exit. But uh, something has been in. To the bum. Yeah. In the night. Mm -hmm. Any idea what it is? Uh, well, it's not a bear because a bear would have eaten much more than that, but it's. Uh, don't know. Really don't know. But it's made a little mess of Stephanie's skin. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay because now there's more of a story to it, she says. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's a lot of miles. Yeah. It's going to take a bit to roll over. That's the exit wound right there. How much does he weigh? Oh, uh, right now 220, 230 kilo probably. Maybe, no, maybe 200? I don't know. I don't know these animals very well. The size of your head though. That's big. Wow, that is big. Big <laughs> flat. Bone. That was yep. a cool hunt. <laughs> Do you want to roll her over and have a look? Yeah. It's not hot Yeah. The back legs all go to the front. That ain't no road here. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Liver. Liver shot. That's okay. Yeah. So? Cause she, she, she only... Uh, I she saw ran, her there. Yeah. And she went in here. She ran 20 meters and stood. Yeah. And then she ran another 20 meters and bedded down. And that's when we walked away and she's just stood down the hill basically. Yeah. So, yeah, she died yesterday pretty quick. Yeah, yeah she, she would have died within an hour or so of us walking away, but there was no yeah. point chasing her. No, either. no. We could have chased her up to horse. <laughs> After we were gonna get horses though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Well. Cool. Now the next step begins. Yeah. Now the hard work. I think we might uh, take her out there. Actually, it was. Yeah, hard that work. flat spot over there. Yeah. Hunting here as well. Hmm. And thank God there's no grizzly bears here. Because <sighs> you'd be sitting there with your bow. <laughs> Can you think it's funny that we're on the very top of that mountain? three days ago. Is that up there? Yeah. Wow. We were on the very top of that. The mountain goat was on the other side and we came down through the left, you can see one left hand shoot there. Yeah. There's that big rock in the middle that's a triangle shape. We came down on the dark shadow on the left of that and then yeah onto the elk. Crazy eh? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> this trip has been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not, not over yet. yet. <laughs>